Hi everyone, welcome back. I am so happy that you are here. Friends, this is the video which I shot on 12th July when I was harvesting the third crop of wheatgrass microgreens from the same seeds but somehow got late in uploading. If you have watched my previous video of 5th July about wheatgrass microgreens in cocoa peat, there is hardly any need to explain. But if you have not watched that episode, the link is in the i button and in the description box below. So friends, I could get the third crop of wheatgrass too in another week. Although the growth of the wheatgrass is not as thick as it was for the first and second crop, but still it's good. I'll still be able to make good amount of juice out of it. I am very happy to find that more than 95% of the seeds I sowed grew up in alluring wheatgrass. I'll not take much of your time before I explain how to extract juice out of it but I would certainly like to tell that wheatgrass juice is a super healthy food with amazing benefits. And there is no wonder that health enthusiasts have good reasons when they rave about the countless benefits of wheatgrass. The juice of wheatgrass is considered to be a living food which can be taken regularly as a health tonic as it has antioxidant properties that can help to prevent many diseases like blood pressure, diabetes, arthritis and even cancer. As a matter of fact, the high nutritional value of wheatgrass helps to build a strong immune system which is thought to keep the body healthy and free of disease. And now let's start making wheatgrass juice. First of all, cut these in small pieces with a pair of scissors or a knife. It's an important step, otherwise blending becomes a little difficult. Wash the wheatgrass thoroughly and then put these in blender and add water to it. Almost one fourth of a regular glass is enough for one person. I want to make it for four people so I'll add around one and a half glass water to it. Blend it properly and then sieve it at least two times. I do it first with a thick sieve and then with this thin sieve. This is done so that no part of wheatgrass grows and irritates your throat. After sieving it twice, pour juice of a lemon to it. One very more important point is that you have to decide the time of the day to take this juice. Though it's best to take it empty stomach, but some people say that they can't take it empty stomach. So trial and error will help you decide the best time that works for you whether it's empty stomach or after food. But the main thing is that you must take it to remain healthy. There is no wrong in saying that if you want to stay healthy, start growing your own food. And if you have not started it yet, start with wheatgrass microgreens as you will get 100% success with a very little effort. I hope I have inspired you to start this process today itself. If yes, please do let me know in the comment section below. Friends, I hope you liked my effort of reaching out to you with the third harvest of microgreens and the recipe to prepare wheatgrass juice. If your answer is yes, just give this video a thumbs up as it will motivate me to bring more such episodes. And I hope you have already subscribed to my channel. So friends, thanks for watching. See you soon. Till then, Take care of yourselves.